Gosh. Start with Keith then. Keith. Ed, Eddie, you, you said yesterday that um, you'd need a bit of bit of luck coming here tonight. You obviously didn't get that with the two de deflected goals. How do you assess the whole performance as well? Yeah, it, of course, the goals are difficult to take. I think especially the first one, which was a, a, bit, a big deflection and it flies into the, the top corner. It's, yeah, I, d I don't know really what to say to that. That's just, that's what the football gods working against us today in that respect. I thought, I thought the lads gave everything today. They're very, very difficult to play Manchester City at any time. But we're in the, when they're in that kind of mood and they, they pick those kind of players, you know, their, their technical base, you know, that their aim was to, to keep possession and make it difficult for us. We're trying to unsettle their rhythm and win the ball back high. It's a really delicate game between both, both ways. And um, I thought we did OK. I thought we stuck at it. I thought we did unsettle them at times. Um, they went quite direct into Haaland, so that was an interesting uh, part of the game. But I think ultimately when we did get into the final third and we did have the opportunities to hurt them, our quality wasn't there. And that's probably the big disappointment looking back now. It's very unusual for you to go with a back three or a back five, so a big change. Yeah. How do you think players dealt with that and do you feel looking back now it was the right decision? Well, we tried to just give them a different problem. Um, played against them a lot this season already and... Um, yeah, we, we tried to be creative with our team selection today. Uh, we're always with an eye of both phases of, of defending and attacking. And we felt possibly two strikers could um, give us a better platform to attack. And I do think there were, there were high points within that. I, I don't think it was all negative. Um, Alex's chance is a big moment uh, in the game, which we are unfortunate not to take. But, uh, you know, overall we weren't good enough. They were better than us. Um, I thought technically they were superb today. Uh, and it was always going to be a, a very difficult task to go through to the ground and keep the cup dream alive but how was the overall feeling within the dressing room knowing that that's another year without some silverware at the, at the football club yeah it is but I don't think we can feel sorry for ourselves or have that kind of emotion it's happened um, this season could have ended up very different that seems on the big moments have just gone against us but the, we have to take responsibility for that but we will come back I think probably the the two week breaks come at a good time for us to let this result sink in um, and then focus on our last 10 games in the Premier League. Okay, uh, Lee Ryder, then Chris Woff. Eddie, you're obviously flying off to Dubai now. What, what sort of things will you be doing there and what sort of things will you be focusing on that obviously you didn't see this evening? Well, I think as always, there'll be a period of relaxation for the players after a very um, busy period. We've got, you know, some injuries to to try and get players fit for our next game and then there'll be a period of work where we'll analyse today's game and then pick the, the pieces up and um, yeah work on I don't, I don't know um, at this moment what that will be um, but of course looking ahead to our next opponent we'll get some good work in we'll get some fitness work in and we'll come back stronger for it and obviously playing five at the back do you think you'll be doing that again moving forward or was that, was that just a, a one off? Well, as I said, I wanted to change things around for this game. I think that was in my mind as soon as the draw was made. Um, I thought there were some positives to take from it, so it's not something I'd rule out again. And, and I've always said all systems are open to me. Um, I'm never closed off if I think there's a better solution. But also I want the players to play the game in a, in a framework that they know and they understand and they, they can deliver. So um, we'll wait and see. And I know it was Manchester City and their quality, but... Two two shots, uh, one shot on target, and two two shots overall. I mean, that, I know you'll be disappointed with that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you want to be a bigger attacking threat than that in the game. I do think there were moments for us there where we we didn't end up shooting, but we were looking or had the ball in threatening positions. Probably highlighted by a counter attack with Miggy and Alex uh, towards the end. But there's certainly those numbers aren't aren't good enough, and it's not a reflection on where we've been from an attacking sense this season. We've scored a lot of goals, so we know we're capable. OK, Chris Woff, and then we'll go to Scott Wilson at the front. Hi, Eddie. Obviously, no Tino Livermento in, in the side of the What is his issue? How serious is it? And when did you know he wasn't going to be involved? Um, it was a twist of the ankle um, against Chelsea. Um, knew, knew probably the day after the game that he wasn't going to make this weekend. How serious is, is this? Yeah, I don't think it's serious. We hope he'll be back for the next match. 
in terms of the players today, you, you made a quadruple substitution. Were any of those fitness related? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Scott, just with the microphone. Eddie, Sorry, Scott. Thank you. Eddie, there's, a, there's obviously still kind of European qualification to play for in the rest of this season. But, but is, is the remainder of this season one of the, the most important things now going to be just to kind of generate a little bit more positivity just in terms of the general mood around the place, really? Because it, it does feel like it's been a tough run, really, ever since kind of the Champions League ended. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I think we, we have a responsibility in these final 10 games to build uh, of course we'll have our targets for this season but we're always building for the future and to make sure that we're the most competitive team we can be there'll be no uh, negativity from me um, or from the players we know the importance of representing the club well in every single game in every single moment um, so um, I still feel we have a huge amount to play for I know just on the back of that then you, you've mentioned this before but any kind of European qualification would still be very, very important, wouldn't it, in, in what's left, whether it be Conference League, Europa League, eighth, seventh, whatever. Obviously, a lot of that's still to be decided. But. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's our aim. There's, yeah, that's why I say there's a huge amount to play for. If people say our season's over, and that's absolute nonsense as far as I'm concerned, we're driving forward to, to, to try and get our best form back, first and foremost, to try and win as many games as we can, uh, finish the season in a positive way, because... Well, no doubt we'll take that feeling into next year as well. Uh, I do feel we have a lot to be positive about, but we also have a lot to analyse and reflect on and uh, try and improve. OK, any more? OK, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.